Homeopathy is a branch of medical science that deals with natural and safe, effective medicines. Homeopathy is different from the conventional mode of treatment, which is completely natural. We at MediCircle are conducting and spreading awareness about the benefits of homeopathy by interviewing eminent homeopathic doctors on the occasion of World Homeopathy Day. Hi, I'm Sita Kumar, and today our guest for the talk is Dr. Anish Vaknali. Dr. Anish is the Managing Director of Homeo Consult R&D. He has over 25 years of experience in the field of homeopathy. Dr. Anish is the inventor of the NP therapy, which treats sensory neural conditions with homeopathic uh, and bioneural supplements. Hi, Dr. Anish. Welcome to Medi Circle. Yeah, hi, Smita. Thank you for inviting me and uh, also thank you for all these lovely interviews that you've been doing. I'm sure it's helping a lot of people. Yes, definitely. I think we are able to raise a little bit of awareness about some of these which were already there, but yes, there was little you know, I mean, information. And we even as people, a lot of times don't pay heed to the symptoms and other things. So it is a good, uh, I mean, initiative. Uh, especially I'm doing this, like this uh, homeopathy uh, series, which is like, it's one of the ancient sciences and, uh, and it has been practiced widely, but yes, we definitely need to know more about it. And we would be hearing a lot from you yourself. So let's begin with this, Dr. Anish, uh, like kindly give some valuable in inputs with expertise and uh, shed some light on what is homeopathy. Okay. So, you know, uh, homeopathy is, not very old like most people think you know it's just 200 years old and uh, it was originally uh, discovered by Dr. Samuel Hahnemann in the 1700s he was a physician himself and probably was not happy the way things were going on in those in that century so what happened was that he came across uh, you know his own experiences where he realized that uh, when a person comes to you with certain symptoms, the substance which can cure those symptoms should be able to produce those same symptoms in a healthy person in a diluted form. Okay. So what it means is, is basically, so this, this particular law which he named it light cures like. Now, what it means is say, for example, Smita comes to me with a headache, right? And she tells me that my headache comes on the right side. I have a throbbing you know, sensation. I'm vomiting, etc. Now, when I take a particular substance and I dilute it and I give it to a healthy person, that healthy person over a period of time should be developing these particular symptoms. That's the way I know as a homeopath that that substance can also cure Smita with this particular symptom. So this is the basics of homeopathy, which is extremely scientific. It is thoroughly studied. Every drug, there are over 4,000 remedies in homeopathy. And the book we refer to, now no more books, now it's all a software, but everything that we refer to is experiment, you know, is basically tried on a healthy person. All their symptoms are noted down. And then we refer to these particular, particular indications and then we give that remedy to the person suffering from those symptoms. So it is, it's, you know, unlike people, what people think homeopathy is pseudoscience, homeopathy is placebo, you know, all these things really are, uh, it, they do not make sense because we have tried these remedies on healthy people, we've noted down their symptoms and now we are using it on somebody who has those symptoms. So now, you know, if I go one step further, what, how does the homeopath, homeopathic medicine work? So now say you came to me with this particular headache, right? Yes. And I gave you that particular medicine. Now, what the medicine does in your body is that it mimics those symptoms which you already have, right? So by mimicking it, it is kind of telling your body to respond in a, and bring your body back to a healthy state naturally. So it is only aiding your body to recognize that, you know, you need to do something about it and do something correct. 
and kind of get rid of those problems. So it is in no way uh, kind of uh, harmful because it is in such minute doses. It is in no way kind of uh, temporary because it is actually telling you to actually rectify itself. So it's, it's, a, it's an amazing, beautiful, scientifically researched, uh, subtle, and that's the reason why homeopathy is surviving. I mean, no science would survive for 200 years, right? Okay. So uh, that's what all homeopathy is all about. Basically. Oh, and tell us about the scope of homeopathy, like especially in critical and difficult cases, how homeopathy can help patients with chronic diseases. You know, the funny thing is that a case should does not become chronic unless you made it chronic, right? So say somebody with an allergy, you know, initially has, say, sneezing, has asthma, yes. you know, and what does the person do? He'll probably go to an allopath. Hmm. right the allopathic doctor will give some antihistamines will give you some bronchodilators so it which basically has only superficially controlled your symptoms no way has it basically told your body to rectify that particular problem so that person carries on that way years by the problem becomes chronic now if that same patient came to a homeopath what would happen is he would give these particular remedies and maybe in a couple of months, maybe in six months, those problems would disappear simply because the body has rectified itself. So, the, you know, when we say chronic, the first, my advice to everybody is do not run directly to conventional medicines. First, take homeopathy. If the doctor is good, if he's got great experience and he knows what he's doing, but that condition would not become a chronic condition. Right, that's the first point. Now, say a person came to me and now it is a chronic case. Now, how do I treat it? So initially we start giving homeopathic medicines along with whatever the conventional medicine that is on. Uh, over time, that person will experience benefits and the allopathic medicines or whatever he's taking are slowly weaned off. And then that's how we basically manage it. So the scope in every chronic case is wonderful. There are certain limitations, uh, but I think there are more advantages than limitations. So to start with the limitations, I would say the problem is that if it becomes too chronic, the person is so weakened that he may need some allopathic medicine. So in those cases, we, you know, you may not be able to completely wean him off those particular drugs. But you could definitely bring about a change in the person. You could definitely improve his overall health. Bring, say it's a blood pressure, hypertension case, for example. You know, you could definitely bring down his pressure. You could lower his drugs, which he's taking. Overall, there would be definitely a change. So there is nothing that homeopathy cannot help you with. Uh, there is, uh, you know, and especially when you say chronic cases, uh, you know, things like, say, arthritis, things uh, like, like uh, asthma, allergies, women problems like PCOS. A lot of women go through PCOS. And that leads to, say, obesity, say, hair loss, etc. Wonderful. Homeopathy works miracles in those cases. So, I, I mean, there is, if, you, if you ask me, I would not stop. I would say anybody and everybody should take homeopathy for chronic cases. And, uh, you know, don't, don't hesitate. But also be aware that homeopathy is not some magic pill which will completely eradicate your chronic problem. Right, there are going to be limitations. So be very practical. Your doctor should explain to you that what are the limitations, or how much relief you can achieve, and to what extent you know you can expect the medicine to really help you. Definitely. So as you mentioned, one thing, Doctor Anish, that sometimes the patient is given both allopathic conventional medicines and along with this homeopathy medicine. So a question regarding this, uh, I mean, are the medicines still effective if they are given in a combination of an allopathic drug? Yes, absolutely. Because see, both are different. Allopathic drugs or even Ayurveda for that matter, they are material doses. They are actually they are giving it to you in a chemical form or a plant extract form, etc. Right? Whereas homeopathy is at at it's, you know what, say, you, you know what, like, say, quantum physics is or quantum biology is, right? Because in homeopathy, what we've done is we have diluted the medicine 
to a great extent and the material form of that original substance, say the plant or a chemical or whatever, is absent. So how does it work? I mean, it, it's the frequency of the medicine that is released into, say, the, uh, you know, the alcohol in which it is prepared or the water in which it is prepared. So the, the, the way the both, the, you know, systems work is completely different. One is working to tell your body to rectify itself, whereas the other one is imparting some chemical effect on you to kind of reduce your symptoms. So one is temporary and one is long-standing. So they both are different and there is absolutely no harm in taking both together. Yes, you do need to keep a little bit of a gap between the two. You can't pop a pill and take homeopathic simultaneously. You should not do that because you want the medicine to absorb in its purest form. So yes, you can take both together. Okay. So moving on to this, Dr. Ranish, that uh, there, are, there are a lot of homeopathic drugs uh, which are given to patients for multiple diseases. So what are the details on the efficacy and the safety uh, of uh, homeopathy medicines and if they are without any side effects? Generally, uh, this is a general question for allopathic drugs, like what would be the side effects and what would be the efficacy and safety? But uh, for homeopathy, does it also stand true? See, again, because it is diluted and absolutely uh, there are no, there's no actual material form of the original substance, there are no side effects. But, uh, you know, the funny thing is that people think, oh, it's so, there's nothing happens with homeopathy. If something happens, it will be good. If nothing, nothing will happen. But uh, people, so what they do is they go to the pharmacy, the doctor writes the prescription, they go to the pharmacy and they kind of just take it thinking, okay, not, you know, there's no harm done. But uh, the problem is that even if you take a homeopathic remedy for too long, okay. it does cause something called proving. So which originally I mentioned to you how a homeopathic medicine, you know, how we know the efficacy of a homeopathic medicine. That's exactly what will happen is that you will start proving that medicine and you will start developing some different symptoms altogether, which only a homeopath would know. So the word side effect is absolutely there are no side effects in homeopathy there's nothing to worry about as far as even taking it with something else but yes you cannot just keep popping a homeopathic medicine daily and not get back with your doctor you the doctor needs to figure out whether the medicine is actually helping you or not if if it is not helping he needs to change it and so and so you know so basically this is don't think, yes, there are no side effects. There's going to be no organ failure. There's going to be no toxicity. There's going to be, you know, even pregnant women can take it. Children can take it. Everybody can take it. it is, that's the safety of homeopathy. And if you notice in my practice, I would say more than 50% of my patients are all children. So the simple reason being that there are no side effects. So uh, my humble request to all mothers is go for homeopathy. Do not, you may never need to go to your pediatrician other than for vaccines. Homeopathy can take care of all your day-to-day -day kind of problems like cold, cough, etc., skin problems, you name it, right? So there's nothing safer. I think this is the first line of treatment that anybody should go for. Definitely, especially for the small children, they shouldn't be exposed to, I mean, hard allopathic drugs right from the beginning. And when there, you, they, 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 there is a very good option available, like homeopathy, which can actually treat everything, especially for the children, it is, I think, the best option to be given. And uh, also the administration is much more easier because it comes in these small, I mean, white uh, drop I mean that those tablets it's much more easier for the child to have that medicine and it's difficult for the allopathic medicines to be administered I think I, I myself have got a six-year-old son and whenever there is something it is so much convenient for me to give him a homeopathic medicine rather than administering anything allopathic so that is one very very good thing the safety is also there because there is definitely no side effects attached as Dr. Anish is rightly saying. Yeah, so if you notice if you take your kid to a pediatrician, he's going to create a ruckus, right? <laughs> to come to a home, you have that incentive. You know, the doctor is going to give you some sweet, like, you know, chocolate. You know, it, it makes a big difference. It's, it's uh, it, it helps us 
we don't need to sell ourselves they come automatically you know <laughs> <laughs> very very true uh, so moving on to the next uh, question dr ranish this is related to a uh, children how effective is homeopathy for children and their mental health especially yeah so you know before we started this i was explaining to you that uh, since i practice uh, i mean it's been 25 years but i would say in the last 15 years i only focus on kids and their mental health to do with their development to do with uh, uh, you know their cognition uh, there can be a lot of uh, issues nowadays we see simply because things have changed you know uh, lifestyle has changed environment has changed parents don't have time to spend time with their kids a nice little gadget in their hand and the parent is doing its you know their own thing screen time has increased significantly what they watch what they are exposed to nobody knows i mean i have a teenager so i can tell you even at this being a teenager we have to be careful what she's watching Definitely. but imagine a 2 and a 3 year old kid you know who's seeing cartoons like say a tom and jerry what does a child see a child sees tom hitting jerry and vice versa you know their language is absolutely messed up because they pick up those things behavior body language aggression rage goes on so now i specialize in something called uh, children their behavioral issues but also to do with autism adhd you know speech delay all these things are uh, i i think they just blown apart like i mean to to the i mean if every homeopath only does this i'm pretty sure you'll be busy there are so many cases to see you know so um, now so, so what happens is uh, there is no treatment for this if you if you go to a normal pediatrician or if you go to a developmental pediatrician they will give you psychiatric drugs and uh, they will expose the child to these medicines which are actually speaking overseas not recommended but in india they do use them quite you know without any consideration for what can happen to the child so say if you if a child comes to me who is super hyper you know he for example he won't be sitting in one place he won't focus on studies he'll be aggressive he'll hit etc so the normal the trend is that the developmental pediatrician will give certain drugs which will just calm the child down it will kind of subdue the child he will not think in the right fashion there could be other symptoms or signs that could develop as a result of it so the alternative to this or any mental health issue to do with your child or a development is first is homeopathy and obviously somebody who knows what they are doing because it it's not easy to practice this kind of homeopathy because you need to first of all make sure that the parent is patient you know because it's going to take some time for the medicines to work because it is a developmental problem and uh, as we give uh, what we noticed is some children respond in a month some respond in a couple of months but over time the child's cognition that is the child's understanding the child's focus uh speech you know all these kids uh, who come here they are only given homeopathic medicines okay. there's never been a need to actually give anything that is allopathic and uh, the results with homeopathy for any kind of mental health issue now you know it, it's quite uh, there's a lot of mental health issues there are developmental issues so in that category there's a condition called uh where a child basically cannot uh process interpret and respond you know so if you call the child he will not even look at you there won't be any eye contact he'll just kind of ignore you it, it, it's a very disturbing condition for parents uh because you know as a parent you want you know you kind of have dreams that as a kid grows up the child may take care of you in this case you will have to take care of the child for its entire life right so it's a very disturbing condition uh and uh, the beauty is that even a case like autism where there is no treatment available yes homeopathy is able to reverse or even improve a lot of the issues these kids have so we see a lot of amazing recovery like to the extent of normalizing them 
but not possible in all cases, I would say, but definitely we can do really uh, uh, a significant change in their cognition, their speech, uh, you know, social interaction, things like that. Now, kids with ADHD, for example, you know, super hyper, they'll be running around, jumping, breaking, you know, you may have experienced that in a restaurant where a kid is just running around making a ruckus. So these kids are usually ADHD. Now, in these kids, usually the allopathic line of treatment would be kind of sedating them to some extent, uh, you know, making them calm. But then that indirectly affects their academics. So it will affect something else. Sure. Even here, within a month or two, we are able to bring about changes. So in, in all kinds of cases, I think homeopathy should be the first line of treatment. If it does not help to the extent what you expect or even the homeopath expects, then you could add on something to it. Definitely. But homeopathy should be the primary line of treatment. So one, one, one thing what we are clear here that many children, like I, I've, I've been doing a series on World Autism Day also, so I have been speaking right. to a lot of uh, neurologists, pediatric neurologists, occupational therapists who have been telling that they have been seeing a flooding of uh, such children. And it is going to be the next pandemic, like a study of by MIT by 2025 in California, at least one in every two child would be autistic. Mm -hmm. So again, or either right. ADHD. So that is one thing which is really a cause of concern. And in such cases, if homeopathy can help, then nothing better than that uh, like doctors like dr anish who are able to reverse a condition like autism i think i have heard that it's a condition which is really irreversible, irreversible. Uh, the child cannot speak the child cannot uh, communicate a lot of time there is a difficulty but yes if it is a little bit or a significant change can be done in the child's life nothing nothing like that because it would like bring a lot of uh, means happiness in the parents life especially because as they are very, very, very yeah. much concerned about their children who are like, but they're, but it has become quite common, uh, Dr. Rani, right. children with such kind of... Uh, uh, yeah, the, the, I think the, they say a closed mind is a devil's mind, right? I mean, the problem is that we need to open up and be open to all lines of people, right? See, you, you go to a development pediatrician or you go to somebody and uh, they only give you one line of treatment. That is not fair. You need to put down everything on the platter and say, try this, try this, try this. You know, because everything has its place. You, so in India, overseas, everywhere, no doctor really tells you, uh, you know, also try alternative medicine, also try this. Now, if somebody has actually treated thousands of cases, there, is, there has to be some kind of, you know, benefit that is obvious through this line of treatment. So I think there should be a kind of, uh, some kind of, uh, you know, agreement through the pediatricians, developmental pediatricians, occupational therapists, homeopaths, that we work together to bring about well-being in these kids. Definitely. I think that's the way to go. Surely. So thank you so much, Dr. Ranesh, for joining us and sharing such significant information of regarding homeopathy with our viewers today. Um, like I'll share one data, around 10% of Indian population, like that is more than 100 million people, depend solely on homeopathy for their better care, according to the Indian government. So definitely it is a big choice for a lot of patients. Uh, but still, I, I don't understand sometimes whenever there is an ailment, we always opt for the conventional medicine and everything fails we switch to homeopathy and then we definitely rely on that and we take it lifelong also because it says that it actually eradicates the problem from the roots so why like people do this I mean, you know the, it's always we go for these allopathic the funny medicines are the first <laughs> yeah it's human weakness see i mean even as a physician myself being a homeopath I mean, if I feel, oh, oh my God, you know, it's taking too long or I'm not recovering, I will pop a pill. Like I may take a Crocin or a Dolu or something of that sort, right? Yeah. But then after two, three days, I realize, oh, this thing didn't do anything for me. Why don't I go back to homeopathy? Definitely. So it's human nature. You know, human nature, we are all kind of in the same boat, you know. So it's hard to convince you. But then when you are, you know, as they say, the proof is in the pudding, right? So, I mean... Till you have not tried homeopathy, 
you really will not be a fan of homeopathy. So keep an open mind, go with it. And, uh, you know, don't hear things because it's kind of become, you know, there are certain uh, departments of medicine which try to put down different sciences. It's all there on YouTube. So don't hear all this, go with it, enjoy the pudding. And I'm pretty sure you'll be a fan of homeopathy. Definitely. So closing on that note, we would be definitely, I mean, requesting our audiences, whomsoever who's viewing the video, if you have not tried homeopathy, definitely try that. It is actually going to help you, help you uh, out of the condition. Thanks, Dr. Anish, for joining us at MediCircle. We wish you all the best for your uh, Thank you. clinic, uh, for which you're actually doing a very good job for the children, especially with neural problems.